Happy Christmas. On behalf of myself, Shannon Bennett, and my team, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. As an appreciation of all your support this year, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite seasonal recipes, roast turkey. As everything we do at Vieux de Monde, this recipe's got a few little twists and turns, but please persevere. It's actually quite a simple recipe, and I know you're really gonna enjoy it. So let's start. First of all, to feed six people, let's choose a five kilo turkey. Make sure it's a happy turkey, free range, and hasn't been stuck in a small cage. Soak the turkey in a brine, salted water solution for at least one hour, or preferably overnight. For those of you out there who can't get a really good turkey, or don't even like turkey, this recipe is set up for any other poultry that you like, particularly chicken, duck, or goose. Just follow the same steps, but lower the cooking times. Next step, remove the turkey from the brine, pat it dry, and then shove a really good handful of hay up the cavity of the turkey. Yes, hay. You gotta trust me here. Either using a gas blowtorch or a match, light it. The smoke flavor here is gonna be incredible. You might wanna turn your exhaust fan on at this stage. We then cover the turkey with the smoking hay with some foil or a towel. Leave it for at least one hour. Remove the hay and add a simple stuffing of minced pork, fennel and sage into the cavity. Just remember, all the details are on the recipe posted on our website. Now, make a compound butter out of star anise and cinnamon. This can be done well ahead of time and made into a sausage shape using tin foil. Slice the butter into nice discs and place under the skin. This is gonna add some real flavor and moisture to the turkey as it roasts. Now the fun begins. Preheat an oven to 220 degrees. Roughly chop some leek, carrot, celery, and onion and five cloves of garlic. Place in the base of a large roasting pan with the turkey on top, breast side up. Place some slices of thick streaky bacon on top of the breasts. This is gonna add beautiful flavors and really enhance the smokiness that we've added with the hay. Place in the oven, and as the butter starts to melt, use those butter juices and continue to baste every 30 minutes. After the first 30 minutes of cooking, drop the temperature of the oven to 180 degrees. After one hour, remove all the bacon and continue to roast for approximately one hour. Remove the turkey and place in a warm part of the kitchen on a plate and either cover with a cloth or tin foil. Let the turkey rest for 45 minutes. Next step, remove all the beautiful roasted vegetables, put to the side, and once again keep warm. Now we're gonna get all the fun bits off the bottom of the roasting tray. That's gonna make our gravy. We're gonna to start to do that by warming up the roasting pan and adding a little bit of wine just to deglaze, getting all those beautiful roasted juicy bits off the bottom of the tray. Next, we're gonna strain these juices into a saucepan. Add a pinch of salt over a medium heat and start to whisk in some cold butter. The butter will give the sauce its thickness and beautiful shine. We're nearly ready to serve. From here, let's carve the warm turkey and place straight on the plates or a platter. Serve the vegetables and pour the gravy over the top. Now let the fun begin. Some great food, great wine, and of course, some great Christmas cheer. And once again, on behalf of the whole team, I would like to thank you all for your support this year and wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. I look forward to seeing you all in 2013.